Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this triangle ABD along with this uh, angle bisector AB as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this side length uh, AC is uh, 70 units whereas this uh, side length uh, AD is uh, 28 and moreover this angle uh, CAB is 60 degrees and this uh, DAB is uh, 60 degrees as well and now our task is uh, to calculate uh, this uh, AB length uh, the angle bisector and keep in mind that we will be using a trigonometry to solve this given uh, problem please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent uh, true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and since we will be using the trigonometry this time let me go ahead and uh, go over the basic uh, concepts and now let's recall the law of uh, cosines as you can see in this uh, triangle uh, ABC then we get uh, three sets of law of cosines the first one is uh, a square equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc cosine of uh, alpha and likewise this is our second law of cosines and this is our third and now let's go over the law of sines uh, as well and here we can see a divided by sine of alpha is going to be equal to b divided by sine of beta and furthermore we could use a law of cosines uh, the other way around we could write this one as uh, sine of alpha divided by a equal to sine of beta divided by b and finally let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, a times b times sine of angle uh, c as you can see in this given uh, triangle and here our side lengths uh, are uh, a and b and c is the angle uh, in between these two side lengths and bear in mind that we will be using this uh, area of a triangle concept uh, to solve our this given uh, problem and here's our very first step let's make an observation we can see the area of this uh, bigger uh, triangle ACD is going to be equal to the area of uh, triangle uh, ABC this one plus uh, the area of other uh, triangle uh, ABD as you can see over here so therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, big uh, triangle ACD the area of uh, triangle ABC and finally the area of this triangle uh, ABD as well and here's our next step let me call uh, this uh, angle bisector AB I'm going to label it as, uh, as uh, X and here's our next step let's go ahead and focus on this uh, triangle uh, ACD and we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again area equals to a half times uh, a times b times sine of angle uh, c as you can see in this uh, given uh, triangle and here we can see our side lengths uh, of this triangle are 70 and 28 and the angle between them is uh, 60 plus 60 is going to make uh, 120 degrees so therefore the area of this triangle uh, ACD is going to be a half uh, times uh, 70 times uh, 28 uh, times sine of uh, 120 degrees and here we can see that uh, sine of uh, 120 degrees uh, is square root of 3 divided by 2 so therefore I'm going to replace this one by square root of 3 divided by 2 over here and if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 490 times the uh, square root of uh, 3 and now let's go ahead and focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABC and we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle by using the very same uh, area of a triangle formula and this time our side lengths are uh, 70 and uh, X uh, and the angle between these two side lengths is uh, 60 degrees so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so we are going to have a uh, 1 divided by 2 times uh, 70 times uh, x uh, times uh, sine of uh, 60 degrees and now we can see our sine of 60 degrees is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 
So therefore, I'm going to replace this one by square root of 3 divided by 2. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side, that is going to give us uh, 35 times the square root of 3 divided by 2 times uh, x. And finally, let's focus on this uh, other triangle uh, ABD. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle. And we are going to use the very same uh, area of a triangle formula. And this uh, triangle, uh, our side lengths are x uh, and uh, 28. And the angle between them uh, is uh, 60 degrees. Let's go ahead and fill in blanks in this uh, formula. So 1 divided by 2 times uh, 28 uh, times uh, x uh, times sine of uh, 60 degrees. And now we know that sine of 60 degrees is simply square root of 3 divided by 2. And if we simplify everything, uh, this turns out to be 14 times the square root of 3 divided by 2 times uh, x. And now here's our next step. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, given uh, equation. Our area of triangle ACD is uh, 490 times square root of 3. The area of this uh, triangle ABC is 35 times square root of 3 divided by 2 times x. And finally, our triangle uh, area ABD is the 14 times square root of 3 divided by 2 times x. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. So therefore, we can write uh, 490 times the square root of uh, 3 equals to, on the right hand side, uh, 35 times the square root of 3 divided by 2 times x plus 14 times the square root of 3 divided by 2 times x as well. And now let's go ahead and simplify on the left hand side. I'm going to tweak this thing. I can write uh, this thing uh, 10 times 49 times the square root of 3 equals to on the right hand side. Likewise, I can write this thing as uh, x divided by 2. I can take this one factor outside and this is going to be 35 times uh, square root of 3 plus uh, 14 times uh, square root of uh, 3. And now we can see 35 times square root of 3 plus 14 times uh, square root of 3 is going to give us uh, 49 times uh, square root of uh, 3. So therefore, this equation could be written as 10 times 49 times square root of 3 equal to x divided by 2 times 49 times square root of 3. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 49 times square root of 3. This is gone and this is gone as well. So therefore, we are ended up with the x divided by 2 equals to 10. And here I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. Here on the right hand side 10 times 2 as well. So therefore we can see that uh, this 2 and 2 cancels out. So therefore x value turns out to be 20 units. So therefore our this uh, x value turns out to be 20 units and this uh, x represent uh, this uh, side uh, AB. So therefore AB length is going to be 20 units. So thus our AB length uh, turns out to be 20 units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.